Thank you for joining us this week on In Wheel Time. I'm Mike Mars and this is the 2015 GMC Sierra Denali HD. Now this is the 2500 uh, luxury vehicle from the team at GMC. So while it's got a lot of styling cues from the previously upgraded 1500 series, it does have some special treatments for the Denali. Now this includes the HID headlight treatment, the chrome mesh grille up front, we've got some fog lights, and we've got some special wheels. Now the factory wheels for the Sierra is an 18 inch aluminum spoke wheel, but we happen to be rolling on some really nice 20 inch five spoke wheels. We've also got a set of running boards. The 2500 series rides a little high, so uh, the running boards make it a lot easier to get in there. Plus it kind of adds a nice touch of bling to the luxury aspects goes along with the chrome door handles and the uh, power side mirrors. Now we pop the hood. Now when we pop the hood on the 2500 Sierra, it is way up there. But fortunately GMC put a nice little step down here in this chrome front plate to uh, make it a lot easier to get up in there. So simply step and pull and we are stepping right up here into it. Now into it being the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel V8. Now this thing's going to produce 397 horsepower and just as importantly for towing it's going to produce 765 pound-feet of torque. Now this is backed by a six-speed Allison transmission and it goes back to a 14 gear in the rear end. So we've got a lot of low-end torque and a 14 gear so we ought to be able to pull some stumps with the 4x4. On the interior of our 2015 Sierra Denali we're going to see a lot of nice earth tones in a Two and even sometimes a tri-color scheme. We've got a nice large door pull here. Easy to use switches that are really big. Got some driver only controls over here on the left hand side for our trailer braking and our four wheel drive mechanism, our headlights. We've also got their memories for the seating and the pedals and the steering wheel. This is the Denali. Now coming on over we're going to uh, look at the gauge package. We've got two large round sweeping gauges here for a speedometer as well as our tack. And we've got our support gauges. But right in the middle of that is where we're going to find a really nice large digital support screen that we can adjust and kind of put it where we want to go and check on the uh, performance of the vehicle. Now this is all controlled right here from the thumb controls on the steering wheel right hand side. We're also going to see this is our voice activation and our Bluetooth. Now on the other side is where we're going to run into our cruise as well as our active cruise control settings to dictate how far we're going to get, how close we're going to get to somebody else. We've got our heated steering wheel as well as the rest of our controls right here. Now up here on the gear shift lever is where we're going to find our towing engagement as well as our manual shift points when we're in that gear. Coming on down, we're going to see that we've got some manual controls here for our seats, for our heating and cooling. And over here at the top of the center stack is where we're going to find a really nice touchscreen monitor. It works really well. We've got some controls right here to get us back to where we can get our nav, our phone, our audio. Uh, we've got weather. Really responsive setup right here. Now coming down here again, we've got some manual controls here for our radio and our media input. And then on down we've got our dual climate control for our air conditioning to um, sync it up. And here across the bottom is a really nice feature. We've got some really large buttons here to, to control several aspects, whether it's the pedal adjustments that we want to do or the uh, exhaust brake for the diesel engine, the indicators, the safety indicators for the parking clearance, the back cargo light. A lot of nice features here that are real easy to find and use. Then down here in the console where we've got a large open space for a working area, uh, we can drop a cell phone in here and it's also uh, a nice place to put it right there. But we've got several different power options right here, including a 110 and we've got a couple of 12 volt power options here. To um, We've got an MP3 player or if we've got some, a tablet or something else that we're using up in here. Now this is also where we're going to find our, our drink holders. They've got uh, some adjustment to them. And then coming on back is our soft top to our deep storage. We've got another place right here that's pretty convenient to put a cell phone. It's a non-slip surface to keep it from sliding around. And then we can go in here and look at our deep storage 
but we're also going to find some USB port access as an SD card and we've got another 12 volt power supply. Coming on around the dash and we're going to see that over where the glove box typically is we've got a clam type, uh, clam box type opening where we can go up or we can go down for uh, an expanded use of storage there. And then the door panels we've got some uh, ax wood accents as well as the door storage area. Then coming on over and looking at the seats. Now our seats are heated and cooled so they've got to have the perforation but they've got some nice panels here with some large stitching and uh, trim on the sides. Really nice wrap around comfortable and of course we've got to uh, remember that it is a Denali. Looking at the rear passenger area of our 2500 Denali, we're going to see that the earth tone color scheme continues with some nice combination of soft touch material. Got some wood grain accents and a nice large door pull here. Got a big door handle, drink, core, drink holders, as well as storage all throughout the door panels. We're also going to see that we've got some additional soft storage here behind the front seat. And at the back of the front console we've got a couple of storage options here as well as another 12 volt power supply. Now the seating is a 60-40 arrangement so we do have a center armrest that pulls down. Nice soft touch material that provides a couple of drink holders here. And this 60-40 seat will fold up to give us more access to the floor. Simply pulling up on it and we've got a nice large area here to put more cargo in. Put it back down in place, again simply dropping it down, it locks into place, and it's good to go. Thank you again for joining us here on In Wheel Time as we've been looking at the 2015 GMC Sierra Denali Crew Cab 4x4. Now this is the big 2500 from GMC that carries passengers in a nice luxury environment and it's built to work. It'll haul 13,000 pounds on the trailer hitch, or if you put a fifth wheel in it, it'll tow 17,100 pounds. Now we're rolling on some nice available 20 inch aluminum wheels. We've got a large set of chrome running boards that really match the other chrome touches that are found on the exterior of the newly updated 2500 series. If you get a chance to drive one of these nice vehicles, we highly recommend it. Thank you again for joining us. This is Mike Mars for In Wheel Time.